This is Duke University. I'm Cassandra Callis, uh, coordinator for the Duke Farmers Market, and I have five tips for you on how to get the best deals at the farmers market. So the most important thing is to know what's in season. When you know what's in season, you know what to expect, and you're not disappointed or let down when you don't find you know, tomatoes in March or strawberries in August. If you're buying things out of season, you're going to pay a bit more of a premium. Uh, simple supply and demand. So if there's a surplus of something, you know, the farmers want to get it off their hands as quickly as possible. So the prices will be a bit lower on those items. Tip number two, make sure that you come to the market with an idea of maybe a meal or a recipe that you want to use with what you're going to find at the market. So similar to how you would go to the grocery store with a list to keep you on track, you also want to have kind of a mental draft of what you're going to prepare. Tip number three, my favorite, uh, get to know your farmer. So where else do you get to talk to someone for as long as you want to about where your food comes from, direct from the source? Tip number four is don't be afraid to come early or come late to the farmer's market. So you're gonna get a really great selection if you come early. You'll also have a lot more quiet time to sit with the farmer and chat with them, either shoot the breeze or get to know your food a little bit better. And so tip number five, buy in bulk. Um, don't be afraid to buy that quart of strawberries instead of a pint. Farmers really want to get rid of as much of their produce as they can, so there are usually markdowns on buying things in larger quantities. And those are my five tips for how to get the best deal at the farmer's market. Produced by Duke University.